Hey everyone and welcome to the next screenshot overview today with our climbing Siamang in the frame and uh, the reason why this video is so late in the day is simply because I had a wonderful day with the little one outside. We enjoyed the sun, we enjoyed uh, playing together with some water and stuff uh, just as a little side note but you know I hope you guys are now uh, are inside relaxed uh, and just had a good day in the heat wave at least here in central Europe. We need to talk about this picture. Now I said yesterday uh, we need to talk about this because this picture still didn't fully relieve me. Um, and he here's the point why. You can see this wonderful Brahaitian animation processing, ongoing, whatever. We, we haven't seen it in, in motion yet. And I remember that in the past there was a lot of talk about the fact that Brahaitian is not really possible with the game, but we see it now. However, um, this climbing frame now, as we see it a bit more in detail, still does worry me a bit. Um, so the reason why it does bor uh, worry me a bit is, is it's just gigantic and it really, it is super big. We know for a fact um, from the confirmation in the forums that it's going to be piece by piece. So it's going to be modular. The question is how modular and how many pieces and why is it so big? Like it's ridiculously big. Like, look at how tall that all is. And also with all the other screenshots we saw and with the frames from the trailer, it just looks really big. And mm, I really do hope that this preparation is really a behavior, as I said. I like, you know, I've, I've been very positive about this um, simply because they, they called it behavior. But seeing how this looks on here with uh, this climbing frame, we really have to see how it plays out. And I'm gonna stay, say it straight away. I really do hope it's, it's actually a behavior and it's not really like a fake enrichment in a way because it only does certain things on these pieces or whatnot. Um, so we gotta see how this exactly is in game. However, uh, all the negatives aside, um, this model looks fantastic. In comparison to what my concerns were about the Aimer Leopard. This one looks perfect. It looks really, really good. Can't wait to see um, the body in action, especially with the howling and stuff. Um, I can't wait, wait to see the movement because they are very specific. So I'm really looking forward to that. And especially I'm also looking forward to, to see in action how they, um, you know, behave in the habitat itself. And um, it's really good to finally have gibbons in the game. And I really do hope that they add exactly the layer that I was hoping with Brachiation and um, depending on how they do this we will obviously have a better view on how this could be in the future of Planet Zoo, uh, maybe with other specimens as well. Um, I, I gotta say though that I made a mistake just um, pretty much uh, saying that I was wrong. Um, I, I talked about the fact that Brachiation could be a thing for other animals as well and I did include the gorilla in the list but that just doesn't make any sense so just um, as a, a kind of a little correction here, um, the gorilla is obviously not an animal. If we talk about different animals, we do have to name the um, uh, definitely the uh, orangutan, we have to name the chimpanzee and the bonobo. Um, they do all have the overhead climbing. I do call it that way um, specifically because it's not exactly the brachiation as this wonderful gibbon over here does. But that said, um, the siamang does open the door for other gibbons as well, which is pretty cool. And I'm really looking forward to seeing if they can, you know, kind of bring something in in the future as well. So yeah, really looking forward to this. Please let me know in the comments down below what you think about this model, first of all. But also, are you looking forward to the brachiation? And actually, has it been a thing that you were missing out with your big ape? So um, that's something I'm really curious about. Now, have a good time. Have a good evening. I wish you the best and uh, yeah, talk to you in the next one. And also, if you guys like the content and want to see more and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Um, it, you know, we reached 30, uh, 70,000 and there are only 30,000 left to 100k. So if you want to help me reach that target someday, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. It doesn't hurt you. It doesn't cost you anything. It's for free, but it would mean the world to me. So if you haven't already done it, please click that little red button and uh, yeah. You're good to go. You, you made my day a little better and I hope yours is great as well. Thank you so much for your help. Have a good time and goodbye.